felt like the world needed to see this. They're so cute. Good morning guys, it's 8.30 a.m. and I just got to the gym and I was about to go in but honestly I think I'm gonna go over to the Publix that's like right next door to the gym I go to because I have a tummy ache because fun fact it's my period week and I'm like feeling nauseous for some reason and I did already eat a banana this morning which is usually plenty for me when I go to the gym but I feel like a little bit nauseous for some reason like nauseous to the point where I think I might feel faint if I work out without any more food in my stomach so I think I'm gonna go literally just buy a banana at Publix and eat that before I go in because it's leg day and I need like some energy but I didn't want to wait any later because I didn't want to come late like I did yesterday and then the gym's packed I think I'm just gonna go over to the Publix really quick grab a banana then I'll be good Time to go find me a banana. I am dying right now because <laughs> I just bought this banana and she was like, did you find everything okay? And I'm like, yep, just the banana. And I just used my card for the banana, which was literally 29 cents because I'd never carry change or cash with me. So it's just kind of funny that I just went in there for a banana. But you know what? I know this is gonna help me. A nice banana before my workout. Also, please do not say, <gasps> you're feeling nauseous in the morning you must be pregnant like I swear that is the most annoying part about being a female is that like you're not allowed to be nauseous without someone assuming you're pregnant like I literally have a stomach okay with organs and I eat food and I have digestion issues sometimes like a normal person like you can have stomach problems and not be pregnant I just feel like it's so annoying if you ever say your tummy hurts like Oh, you're pregnant like no shut up I'm literally on my period right now it's 9 30 now and I just finished my workout and it's pouring down rain so I'm really glad I got my workout done before it started raining because obviously I wouldn't have done it honestly if it was raining when I woke up this morning probably wouldn't have come but my workout was just over 40 minutes and it was legs and I know I'm gonna be in so much pain tomorrow so I'm gonna have that on top of period cramps it's great back home and I'm making some Trader Joe's cookie butter oatmeal because it sounds so yummy. It's a literal monsoon outside right now, so I'm just gonna chill. I'm not even in a rush to like get dressed and do anything. So I'm just on my computer. I made my yummy, delicious coffee and I have a trooper right here with me who's like dying to snuggle me. We might just have to snuggle since it's raining. Did you come out here to join us? Stetson stayed in his bed all morning. I think it's because of the weather. He was in his bed like in the bedroom and he just now came out. You gonna take a nap, Stetson? Awoken. not gonna lie to you guys I took a little nap trooper and I were so tired and it was raining and it was just so cozy so you know sometimes you just need a little daytime nap so that's what I did but now I'm up and I did my hair and makeup still wearing some cozy sweatpants though and I'm actually about to start getting some stuff done I actually am going to do a big closet clean out today I have so many clothes that I need to put away, like basically jackets, hoodies, things like that. It's not going to be cold for a long time again in Florida. We're in the, the hot days now, and so I just need to get rid of that stuff and put it up and get out my summertime stuff to kind of like make room. So we're going to go through all of that, plus I have like a heaping pile of clothes. 
next to my dresser on the floor that I just like have run out of room. Chad's tired of looking at it and so am I. So we're gonna take care of that too. This is the status of my closet right now, you guys. Like such a disaster. I always pull things off the hanger and then I leave the hanger just hanging there because I suck. And every time I do a closet clean out, I organize everything by color and I make it look so pretty. And then somehow it ends up looking like this again, despite my efforts. So I'm really gonna try harder this time. Down here, I actually have boxes, like these two boxes and this whole bin is full of clothes that I need to put on Poshmark. And I'm about to add even more to that, so I really need to get on it with Poshmark. So I'm just gonna start pulling from my closet and basically putting things into piles, and then I'm folding things that I'm gonna put away into bins for like pulling out in a few months or whatever, whenever it's cold again. A few months, what am I saying? Like next year. done I'm so proud of myself I got all of my laundry done the entire closet cleaned up I went through all of my drawers I got rid of a bunch of clothes I got a whole bag of clothes to donate and then I have like boxes of stuff to put on Poshmark but uh, it just looks so good now let's hope that it actually lasts which I know it won't but you know we can dream. But I just got some exciting stuff in the mail, so I just wanna show you guys. First very exciting thing are these keychains that I ordered for the boutique, and I already put one on my key ring, and I just wanna show you guys. I designed these myself. Don't mind my nail that has some already chipped paint, but it says babe support babes, and then just the website. And it has this cute little tassel, and I'm obsessed with it. So I had those made, and then I've got some new jewelry cards for earrings. So here's what these look like. Super cute. And then stickers, of course. And then probably less exciting, but exciting for me and my desk, I got some sticky notes. Chad and I decided to order Payway for dinner and I am so pumped. We haven't had Payway in forever. We actually got a little coupon in the mail. They got us with that coupon. So we were like, you know what, why not? Let's just get Payway tonight and not have to cook. So Chad just left to go pick that up. I'm gonna go take a shower because my hair is really, really dirty. I need to wash it so bad like dry shampoo can't fix this anymore it gets to the point where it just like starts sticking together because it's so greasy and then you put dry shampoo in it and it just makes it look powdery looking like i can't even describe it but my hair is dirty so we're gonna go take a nice little shower i am fresh out of the shower and i am going to show you guys what i've been putting in my hair when i get out of the shower just as like my aftercare treatment i was using that briogeo like detangler conditioning spray um, but I did run out of that and so I've just started finally using the Olaplex treatment that my hairstylist gave me this is a bond smoother and it's supposed to be really really good for helping your damaged ends so that's what I've been using and it honestly is like a conditioner it comes out really thick like a conditioner and then I just go and then I just run it through my ends before I brush my hair. And then when I brush it, I feel like it like distributes it all through. I like to believe it's helping with all of my split ends, but we'll see. Especially try to concentrate on these front pieces because this is where my hair is most broken, as you can see. So it says it's a leave-in reparative styling cream. It reduces frizz, nourishes, and protects. Where's Chad with our payway? He says, I don't think they were prepared for the popularity of that coupon. It's popping here at the payway. <laughs> Okay, I guess our food's taking a long time. The food has arrived and I'm so excited. I'll show you guys what I got. So I got some wonton soup, which I actually just reheated in the microwave because the container that it came in 
it was kind of cold, so I poured it in a bowl and reheated it, and now it's steamy fresh. And then I also got the Kung Pao chicken, which usually comes with rice, but I like to get it with noodles instead. I just freaked out for a second because I thought those peanuts were corn, and I was like, <laughs> what sense when is there corn in this? I felt like the world needed to see this. They're so cute. guys it is the next morning and I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru about to get my first Starbucks of the week and it is Thursday you guys freaking Thursday and I haven't had any Starbucks this week I am so proud of myself I thought this would be a lot more difficult than it was and honestly I've done so well with lowering my consumption of Starbucks like I've saved so much money but I'm picking up a drink for Emily and I I'm meeting with her this morning and we are taking some pictures she's gonna model for me again so pumped for the new arrivals tomorrow because of course I've got my typical stuff some cute new clothing and accessories but I also have swimwear dropping tomorrow well it's now four o'clock and oh my gosh what a day I have literally been shooting models all day long I got so many cute pictures though of all of the new arrivals and I'm so pumped. But yeah, what a day. It's already after four and I still have to do all of my shipping weights, create all of my listings, and I've gone through all of the photos already, so that's good. So I really just have to do that part and then I have lots of inventory to tag, but most likely that's all gonna get done tomorrow morning because I don't think I can do it all. I've been just like go, go, go all day today. I haven't even had lunch. I'm literally sitting here. At this point, it's too late for me to have lunch, so I'm just eating these carrot chips. Just finished eating dinner, and my boxy charm came in, so I want to show you guys what this month's boxy charm is. It says it's called Sweet Treats, and it came with these two little tweezers, which I'm actually pretty excited about because I really needed a new one. And one of them is like pointed, and the other one's like, I don't know, like a edged tip and I really like that because I feel like these can be useful for different things and everyone needs a good set of tweezers okay so I'm excited about that and then the other thing is this icy sherbet primer silicone free and cooling effect so that's exciting I'm honestly gonna have to do some research on these ingredients because you guys know I had that like horrible reaction a while back from trying fun little random skincare products so I have to be really careful about what I try but anything that I don't end up using because it might be sensitive on my personal skin I am saving for a giveaway which I've told you guys a million times even though it's taking me forever to get to 100k the other thing is this dragon beauty what is this color corrector Ooh, it's green this I'm also super excited about like these colors are so me Pretty Neutrals. This is a Natasha Denoa, which is like super expensive makeup brand. I don't own anything from her line, but I know her eyeshadow palettes are really popular at Sephora. And then the last thing that I got is this Aurora eyeliner in Espresso. So that is everything. I will let you guys know my thoughts if any of this is absolutely amazing and I think you should get it. Hey. 